Hello, my name is Oladili Alani. I'm the contract management lead at Tetraco Energy Group, Nigeria. The issue of renewable energy is one of the things that Tetraco does not take lightly. Currently, uh, I think about late last year, uh, there were lots and lots of activities, engagement with the Tanzanian companies in Tanzania to ensure that we develop some wind farms, right? And that's, the intention of that is to be able to add it uh, to our gas to power solutions that we currently do, right? Aside from that, there's been also uh, uh, some other uh, several other projects that are at different stages of engagement, you know, with stakeholders on developing renewable energy. We have a very robust R&D unit, study group that partners with uh, the big uh, research institutes in Nigeria today. And the idea is to be able to see how best CCUS, like I mentioned in my presentation, is one of the major things that we are focusing on, right? Because we also have interest on the upstream. Right? So, and it is very important that we begin to look at this technology. So that technology as it spans across both gas or our renewable energy, all hands are on deck to ensure that you know, all options are catered to. So Tetraco is really big on renewable energy. So that's why I say we are in different stages of engagement with them. Anyone who's conversant with energy project know that energy project take lots and lots of time to materialize. And by materialize, I mean, when you see the first electron flowing, Right, and then you can say, oh, this is it. A lot and lots of projects that are currently happening today, and I bet it with you, they've been in different stages of conversation in the last 10, 20 years. So some of them can be like that. We are working with them, you know, it's not just a one party thing, we are working with them, and that's why I said we are in se several engagement stages uh, with them to ensure that we do our best, right, to close out uh, as quickly as possible. So I don't want to put a timeline, because like I said, it's not a one party thing. You know, it takes two to tango. And in this case, you even have more than two for you to be able to tango. So we have lots and lots of people. We are engaging state governments, private individuals, as well as, well as financiers, right? It mentioned a whole lot of things that affect funding for different projects. It can be financiers or investors not even comfortable enough in the industry, not even on your project, even on the industry, right? And that's why a whole lot has been done to ensure that it sanitize the industry. On the gas to power end, I know a lot has been done to ensure that you know, there's transparency in the line, there's discipline on the line to ensure that when you put in gas, right, you are able to get what you put in, at least a, a commensurable amount out for, uh, for power generation. So, like I said, I won't be able to, unfortunately, I won't be able to put a specific timeline to it, but trust me, we are cooking something and it's really, really big. I don't want to say uh, the topics and things that we are uh, discussing have been overflowed, but like I said, I was here, right here in this hall yesterday, and we are still discussing the same set of things. We had speakers from you know, upstream, midstream, and downstream discussing the same set of things, energy. Because when you talk about energy, right, you are talking about the full spectrum. Gas, coal, fossil, renewable, everything is all forms of energy, right? So it's not overflowed because, like I said on the stage, someone mentioned here yesterday, that the reason she's really interested in having to participate in this thing, even if many people might say, oh, you've all gone to talk again, is that we were somewhere before, right? Due to this talking, talking, talking and engagement, right? We were able to get to somewhere. We are not where we are yet. We are still going to somewhere. There's still a whole lot to do. However, you know, we are making baby steps, but yet we are making progress. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a welcome development. And if we have as many uh, fora like this as we have, you know, you can see the minister was here. An instructive thing he mentioned was that I'm here to discuss with you the situation and to also get insights from you. Whatever thing we might see, no matter how foolish it sounds to some other people, he has picked up his own point and he will go and run with it, I presume. So, I mean, it's a, it's a good one and I think we should encourage more of this.